Hi everyone, in this video I will explain the isometric projection of a square pyramid, base side 40 mm, top face 20 mm and height 40 mm which is placed centrally on a frustum of a cone of base diameter 80 mm and top diameter 60 mm and height 20 mm. To start with you have to draw the frustum of a cone. So use the line tool, you can use a normal line, then the basis of 80 mm diameter, so you can draw an 80 mm uh, square, so take 80 mm at an angle of 30 degree, then 80 at an angle of 150 degree, then 80 an angle of 210 degree or minus 150 also you can give then you can close this now you got a, a square base I'll just move a copy of that holding the control key I just move a copy of that this I can later use for the square pyramid now to construct ellipse here using four center method I'll draw two diagonals two diagonals here then connect to the center of this side and again from here connect to the center of this side now using arc by center point with this intersection as a center and radius is equal to the either midpoint or end of this line you can select and then till the midpoint again another arc this intersection as a center radius is equal to this you should approach from down you should not come from the top side approach from down take this draw the arc till it meets the center then bottom most end as a center this time you should approach from the top select the arc radius join till the end or uh, center point end of this line okay. so again top end of this diagonal as a center radius is equal to this so you should approach from down this time okay till it meets the center or end of this arc now you got the ellipse corresponding to the base now you can select it move a copy of that by a step distance of 20 20 is the height move it by a step distance of 20 so when you move the mouse now either sideways or top we need to move uh, either up or down to get a copy of that now I'll move the mouse and I'll get a, when I get a step of 20 I'll click the mouse but before that you should uh, switch on this to get the multiple copies okay. so I got a copy of that now terminate it by right click now this you have to scale down because the top diameter is 60 so you can scale down this it's already selected use the scale command to scale down this from 80 to 60 so to 80 to 60 if you have to scale down you have to use a scale factor 60 by 80 so you give a scale factor here 60 by 80 and press enter now it will, you have to give the reference point in this case it is important to give the center of the uh, this ellipse as a reference point so you have to select the center point so that will scale down the ellipse to 60 diameter now this side is going to be 60 this is 60 mm now you can draw the tangents here and uh, so I will zoom this now I have to draw the tangents so you move on this anywhere when you get the point on element symbol you can click 
then you if you move the mouse no it will move on this curve in the the end of the line moves on this curve now when you get the tangent symbol and point on element symbol you should click so that will give a perfect tangent now terminate using right click again uh, come to this arc now you will get an alignment indicator from here that you can use you have to get the point on element symbol now click and when it when you get the tangent and point on element you can click so that will give a tangent so we have we're done with the base part now what we can do is just move this aside okay now i'll bring this uh, here inside so i'll work out in the within the sheet now this is a, a square corresponding to 80 mm now we want a frustum of a square pyramid having sides 40 mm base and top 20 mm so we need to scale down this from 80 to 40 instead of drawing that uh, square base again you can scale down this existing drawing you can scale down from 80 to 40 so 80 to 40 is 40 by 80 or you can use a scale factor 0.5 you can type 40 by 80 or scale factor 0.5 so i'll write 0.5 as a scale factor percent so i have scaled down this to 40 now you can check this side is uh, 40 side is 40 now this is a base square now you have to move this by a step distance of 40 height of the frustum of pyramid so reference point you can take here and move it by a distance step distance use the tab key and go to the step distance input field there you give the height as 40 so that is a step distance you are moving press enter now you just move it by a step of 40 okay so now right click and terminate the command now this is uh, selected now you can immediately go for scale command there you scale down this by a factor of 0.5 that is uh, you have to further reduce that to 20 it was 40 now you have to reduce to 20 because the top side is 20 mm so scale factor is 20 by 40 or again 0.5 so the reference should be the center of this you can identify the center by the alignment indicators you can see the two alignment indicators okay uh, i'll zoom this and show you now you can see the two alignment indicators coming okay now this is a center or this now alignment indicators from the top corner and the left corner or if you move down you may get alignment indicators now from the bottom corner and left corner so like this when you get the two alignment indicators that shows the perfect center now you have to click okay or you should have drawn a diagonal and pick the center of the diagonal before copying just uh, draw the diagonal and copy that that will give a diagonal here or draw a diagonal here and pick the center of that okay uh, you can draw the slant edges it's better uh, draw a diagonal here because i want to pick the center of this now fit, use the fit command select this make it a rigid unit so now this is a frustum of a square pyramid having base side 40 and top face uh, 20 and height 40 now after uh, selecting the rigid set 
so I am making it a rigid set after selecting this rigid set you have to accept it and now this is a rigid unit so why you are making rigid set is no deformation takes place when you connect it it is important before connecting before using this relationship toolbar it's better make it a rigid set now use the connect command and connect this base center to the center of this okay now se select this move to the center of the sheet okay now I'll the whole thing you should scale down the whole thing you should scale down to 0.816 isometric scale so now this is only isometric view because we have taken true dimensions scale down to isometric scale that is 0.816 give a reference point anywhere you can click on the screen so it is scaled down to 0.816 now uh, I'll again zoom this. Now we have to uh, show the visible and hidden edges. So to show the visible and hidden edges, you have to make this part dark and the inside part of this curve should be uh, hidden. Okay, so you can split this arc into two parts at the this end of this line. You can split where it comes and meet here. Okay, so you can use the split command. This arc you are splitting at the end of this line. Okay, end of this line you can select and point indication. Again, this this arc you should select this arc at the end of this line. Okay, so then top this arc is no this arc also it is not visible beyond this point intersection you can select this arc top face arc beyond this point it's not visible okay this part of the arc is hidden similarly this arc beyond this intersection it's not visible now you can select this R okay. uh, so hold down the control key to key uh, to add to the selection. So hold down the control key you can add to the selection. You have to darken the tangent also and base part of the uh, curves. Okay, now I'll uh, change the line type to visible right. now uh, you have to select the other parts of the uh, hold down the control key and select so it is all visible like this this part of the frustum of uh, square pyramid is not visible so the base is not visible so only these base edges are visible and this arc is also visible yes. so now now you have made uh, all that visible parts by uh, dark lines so this line is not visible so you have to make normal line so this uh, combination of solid isometric projection now it's isometric projection of the combination of solid that's all for today. Thank you for watching.